I think good food brings people together in a, in a way that's unbreakable. Growing up in my household, it always centered around food. My mother, my grandmother would show up with, you know, ham, salami, prosciutto, big, big primal cuts of meat or cheeses, and that would be our indulgence for the next three or four weeks. And that was always something that I looked forward to and I gravitated towards those days. The recipes and the lessons and everything they taught about putting an apron on. There's so much more to being a chef than just cooking. Fahrenheit for me, I think it's, it's a lot of the best of both worlds. That may be a, a simple sandwich or a salad or a soup or you know, something along those lines or it might be over the top or an experience that you can't have or that special occasion that people gravitate to. We spend all day on production. We make sure that things are right. And then when you come in at five o'clock, you're gonna get you know, all sorts of things that you can really enjoy. Great braises that, that comes from my childhood, lots of pickled vegetables or, or different you know, accoutrements per se that, that go with my food that are flavorful. And I think we all wear our heart on our sleeve. I've burnt through all sorts of techniques that have either helped or hindered me in the process of becoming a successful restaurateur. You know, I want to equip my guys and my team with the best possible piece of equipment. So all they have to come in and do is really the job that they're trained to do. I equip all my restaurants now with as many Vitamix as possible. You can't make the very best products if you don't have the right equipment to take you there. Here we are guys in Fahrenheit Kitchen. We're making our truffled cauliflower parsnip puree. I've got some parsnips, some cauliflower, some onions. I'm gonna take my onion, I'm gonna quarter it. I've preloaded my container for the Vitamix with a little bit of uh, water. Start chopping up those onions, letting the Vitamix do all the work for you. So we've got our chopped onions, we're just gonna pull right out of the container. We've got our cauliflower that's been pre-blanched a little bit or boiled in a little bit of stock, vegetable stock, water. You're gonna need a little bit of heavy cream. You're going to need a little bit of spinach to give it a little color at the end. You're also going to need a little bit of fresh truffle, which guys, we all know in the professional kitchen what fresh truffles do to our menu items. So again, this recipe enhances beef, ribeye, strip steak, scallops, protein snapper, takes a, that winning recipe and upgrades it even that much more. So we're about 10 minutes into the recipe, guys, and this is where it really gets good. We've got our mixture of cauliflower, parsnips, heavy cream. What we're going to do is we're going to add this to our Vitamix container and it's going to do the pureeing process for us. It's going to make it nice, silky smooth and neat and ready to eat. Pour in the parsnips and the cauliflower. Again, the onions. Take our container lid. Give it that first little pulse. Take some spinach and a little bit of water previously in our Vitamix. Nice vibrant green. And then of course, the best piece, the truffles. Put those in. Turn it on high. Make sure it breaks it up a little bit more. Our Vitamix has done its job. It's coming off the container right now. It's really a great base recipe to start with. Silky, smooth, look at that. Every day it's a pressure cooker in the kitchen to be open by five o'clock in my world. I look for ingredients or components to the restaurant that make me more efficient. And whether that's a piece of equipment or a person, those are all things that come into play on a nightly basis. The first ingredient for me to pick up when I'm doing a, a certain application for a recipe is a Vitamix because if I can turn that machine on to four each time with the same ingredients, whether it's sweet potatoes, carrots, potatoes for a soup, and I'm gonna get that consistent puree that I'm looking for every time, those are all things that save me in the long run. I don't know a person that doesn't really like a good plate of food. It's about getting together, having good food, breaking bread, and sipping a little bit of wine. You know, it's a chance for people to forget about whatever else is going on in the world and embrace what's happening on the plate.